social credit scores coming to a area near you. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. We've heard about it. I don't know if you've heard about it, but I've heard about it in China and maybe other places. Now, is this a far-fetched idea? Maybe. Is this a conspiracy theorist? Conspiracy theory? Um, no, because it is actually being employed in areas. Can it come to the United States or other areas? From what we've seen in the, in the past short period of time, how can you believe that's not possible? Rating people, what is it? It is rating people, it's basically giving them a social score based on uh, whether they're religious or not, whether they are going guns or not, whether they believe in freedom or not, whether they're pro or anti-abortion, whether they are pro or anti-jab, whether they, uh, you know, uh, believe in like growing their own garden, raising their own animals, uh, living off the grid, um, rainwater collection. Uh, there's a plethora of different things, uh, political, spiritual, and belief-based, um, based on, you know, hey, does this person buy um, freedom seeds? Does this person buy uh, a chest rig? Ooh, that's not good. What are they doing? We don't agree with that because we can't control them the more empowered they become. So as we become empowered, as we move forward in our journey to preparedness, we would have very low. I don't know if there's a negative, if there's a negative prep or uh, social score, because I would probably have a negative score. <laughs> um, and then that would impact your ability to buy food, to receive medical care, to do whatever, take your car down to the auto mechanic, get an oil change, go out to dinner, whatever it may be. That would have a big impact on people's lives. Just because you choose via your own God-given free will to live your life the way you want to, not the way the state wants you to, not the way big tech wants you to, not the way big pharma wants you to, not the way anybody wants you to, but you. You should be living your best life the way you want to. As long as it doesn't impact others, harmfully, then why not? We gotta respect each other's free will. And if this is something that's coming, prepare now. I mean, this is why we prepare, so that we can feed our families. There's multi-layers of why we prepare, or why I prepare. I'm not gonna speak for you, I'll just speak for myself. I want to feed my family. I want to provide for my family. I want to take care of my family, my team, my tribe, my neighborhood, the people I know, my community. I also want to prepare. I also prepare because being prepared, having food storage and all these other things is freedom. Freedom from control. Because if I have lots of stockpiled food, and if I have the ability to grow my own food, to raise my own food, to forage out in here for my own food, to hunt, fish, trap, snare for my own food, they have a less, they have a lower chance, lower, uh, uh, less of an opportunity to control me. If they close my access to a grocery store, Okay, am I ready for that to happen right this second? I'd do it, I could do it. I'm confident in my ability to do that. Would we have to start dipping into our food storage for a while while we're ramping up other things of food production? Maybe. But if we start thinking about these things now this is just one way that things can go down. This is just one way that we can be controlled. This is just one scenario 
SHTF type thing. There are lots of others. This is why we prepare. SHTF doesn't have to be this big, huge, end of the world as we know it, you know, the world's falling apart, the economy collapsed, the housing bubble collapsed, the, you know, everything fell apart, uh, mass chaos, looting, rioting, you know, all this stuff, blah, fear porn stuff, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. It could be you losing your job. It could be some big financial hardship happening in your life. Could be losing somebody you care about. It could be a localized natural disaster. It could be you live in an area that rarely gets snow and it snows for six days straight and with temperatures all time lows at like 10 degrees, aka right here, right now. <laughs> now, is this as do I think of it as SHTF? No, but what did I do when it started snowing? Nothing. That's the good part. I didn't even run to town when it first started. Even though I knew it would probably go on for a week. It looked like it was going to be uh, snowmageddon. What'd I do? <sighs> yep, that's what I did. Because I'm ready for it. I have that peace of mind because I've prepared for it. I don't have to go out. Did I? Yeah, I did yesterday. But that's just because I wanted some things. And it's kind of fun to get out and drive around the four-wheel drive, you know, in the snow a little bit. Side note, I love my truck. Ford F-350, power stroke, four-wheel drive, long bed quad cab. Oh yeah, baby. It was awesome. Side note, I love Chevys and Dodges also. I'm not brand specific guy. I have that truck right now, I love that truck. It works well for me, it's a great truck. Um, but I also see benefit in the other ones, so don't hate on me. Uh, <laughs> actually, you, you hate on me all you want, I don't care. But, that social credit score thing is kinda crazy. It seems like sci-fi. It's something out of 1984, the book 1984, or as some people know, the movie 1984. Um, it's a book, though. Get one and read it, as well as Animal Farm and some. There's a lot of other good books. Atlas Shrugged. You know, some of those books are freaking massive, but good. Um, I tell people all the time, 1984 was supposed to be a warning, not an instruction manual. The credit, social credit score, cashless society, meatless society, all these different things go hand in hand with UN Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. You can go right to their website and look it up. Globalism, stuff like that, depopulation. That's not conspiracy theory, it's right on their websites. So be mindful of this, prepare for it. Get your preps in order, get your food stockpiled. I mean, if you can stockpile years and years and years of food, if you store it properly and you take care of it and you, it'll be there for you. If you get the right things. Look at yesterday's video. These items to stockpile now. Those items will last forever, basically. Barring any, you know, failure in storage, Stuff like that anyway. Um, this could become real, people. I haven't mentioned it in a while, but I feel that there needs to be this togetherness of the homesteading and the prepper community. I feel that probably most homesteaders are kind of preppers, even though they may not call themselves that. They have food set aside because they need to. Or people that live in uh, very, very harsh environments. Probably have some food storage set aside and stuff like that. But I think preppers, preppers, whatever you want to call yourself, survivalist, homesteader, I don't care what you want to call yourself. Call yourself a pink elephant, whatever. I think everybody needs to be 
headed more in the direction of homesteading, of being self-sufficient, self-reliant. Now I get it, right now I can't sit out here, I can't grow stuff out here right now, but you can raise animals, you can build a greenhouse, grow stuff in there though, so you can grow year round. Depends on your environment. Depends on where you live, what you can and can't do. But empowering yourself and separating yourself from the system will help in a lot of different situations. And if you're worried about the social credit score thing happening, take action. Do your part now. So you don't have to play their game. You don't have to play their game of control. You can take care of yourself and your family. Anyway, if you guys like the channel, please subscribe. Please comment. Hit that thumbs up. All, all these little things help with the algorithm. It helps me reach more people, empower, uplift, and get more people into preparedness. That's my goal. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate all you guys. Really, I really do. It's an honor. Have a wonderful day and keep your head up and stay positive in the coming year 2022. We're in day two now. We'll see what's coming our way. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.